I'm Lady Juniper and today I want to talk about the special program that was, was played on uh, Genshin Impact channel last week. Um, I think we're all very excited for the next patch, I think it's 3.5 I think, uh, where it was shown we are going to be meeting Dane Steve again, yay! I'm very excited, I'm so excited for the next chapter in Cunria. And it was shown and heavily hinted at on the special program that Kaya will be joining us for the next chapter. Which has been making a lot of people question whether or not certain things are going to happen. So I thought today maybe we'll do some speculation, some recaps on, on what has happened so far and answer the very important question, is Kaya going to die in the next chapter? Well, I can tell you right now what I personally think is going to happen um, to Kaya in the next chapter. Number one, I, I don't think he's going to die. I'm going to answer that right now. I, I don't think Kai's going to die. Uh, number two, I heavily suspect we're going to see Kaya for maybe half an hour of the entire Archon quest and then he's going to leave and then we might see him in the, the next chapter uh, with Dane Sleeve. I don't, I feel like Kaya is not going to play a central role in this chapter. That is my prediction, and I'll explain why I don't think Kai is going to play a big central role, even though he's in the chapter. And that's because I don't think there's been enough lead up to Kaya playing a major role in it. Let, 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 let me explain. So first of all, if you did not know, and this is the main reason I think Kaya is not going to play a major role in the next story, if we look at his character stories, it will reveal to us that Kaya is not actually a citizen of um, Mondstadt. He is actually a um, descendant of Conria. It tells you in the character stories about all this. And I feel like lots of people don't actually read the character stories or listen to the character dialogues. So there's probably a very large section of the Genshin community that has no idea that Kaya is related to Kanria whatsoever. Which is why I think when they did the Hidden Strife event back in August last year, with the hidden letters up on the cathedral, no, up on the top of the Knights of Favonius' headquarters, it was to hint to people who don't read the profile stories that Kaya is important to the Danesleaf plot because I, I, I felt like at the time they were doing that so people might go go read Kaya's story and be like, oh, he's important to that plot. Yeah, I think Hidden Strife was a big big hint that Kaya was going to be in Danesleaf's next quest. I wasn't expecting it to take this long to get there, honestly. <laughs> uh, what With that event being in August, uh, we're, we're now going to be in March to see Kaya meet, meet Danesleaf. But I think it was a big hint that Kaya was going to be there and to get people who don't read the character stories to know that Kaya is relevant to the Kunria plot. That said, lots of people don't pay attention to events either, as well as character stories. So, I think that means that the next chapter in Daisy's story is going to introduce Kaya to the overall plot and his role in it. I don't think Kai is going to accompany us into wherever we're going with the nail or or whatever. I think they're going to meet in the calf, have a talk. We're going to learn about Kai, Kaya's um, family and probably how he was left in, in the winery and his importance to his family, to, to the Conrian royalty and it's probably going to be like cool we'll see you again later kaya you should probably join us on the next one <laughs> i honestly don't expect kaya to come with us to investigate um the next story quest i mean he might yes yeah, so the next next point of question is why is kaya in simaru if you've seen the playstation image you'll know he is seated i think at this table in this lovely little restaurant here 
Um, why is Kaya in Simaru? It's a very important question and might hint to his role in the next Archon quest. I suspect Kaya is in Simaru because he's following up on an Abyss Order lead or something. He might be on holiday, but I feel like that's unlikely. Now, at the end of, was it Wines the Festival last year in Mondstadt? On the end of the cinematic when Kaya leaves. I had a really strong feeling, personally, that Kaya was going to leave Mondstadt because of the way he turned and left and then after that cinematic you could go talk to all the other characters in Mondstadt you could talk to D. Luke, you could talk to Lisa and all that and Kaya was not to be found even though I feel like he played quite a special role with the whole feelings and ties to the family in that event and when I watched him turn and leave at dawn winery looking down at it that moment to me felt like Kaya was saying goodbye <laughs> and that he was going to leave and when he um when his birthday letter was all very happy about tcg and um it was hinted in the tcg story quest that kaya had left the d loop card behind um i was like oh thank goodness kaya's still in monster he didn't leave but but I think, I do think that event was hinting Kaya was leaving Monster. Obviously, it could be for a perfectly normal reason that our boy is here in this in, in Port Ormos having, having a lovely cup of coffee. I don't think that's wine. I think on the actual image um, recording it, it does have what looks to be like the, the wine glasses on the table. I can't remember <laughs> rather than the coffee pot. Um, because as we know, Kaya is a raging alcoholic. Yeah, uh, I, I suspect, I suspect Kaya is here for work reasons. Maybe he's not running away from Mondstadt. Don't know. Uh, this is just speculation. Another reason why I don't think Kaya is going to play a big role. Um, lots of people have been talking on Twitter about the Abyss, him turning into a Abyss Herald. I don't think. That's going to happen. I think maybe the Cryo Herald could be Kaya's father. Don't know, right? Or someone related to Kaya. I think that's a strong possibility. But the way visions are given to people quite often has nothing to do with lineage. <laughs> and I don't think he's going to die. Mostly because Xiao didn't die in the chasm. I know that was like an event thing and then they made it a permanent story but they they didn't kill Zhao and Zhao has a lot more build up to him dying in both his lore and in all the events and all the stories that he's in it kind of like indicates something bad is going to happen to him eventually because he lives a very hard life where Kaya with all his lore like Mona's dialogue about him heavily hints that he's building up to some great event and I personally think Kaya is probably going to maybe join us on future Dane's Leaves quest depending how this one goes I wouldn't be too, too surprised if now it's going to be us Kaya and Dane's Leaf on the future traveler quest just because of Kaya's role or Kaya does return to Mondstadt but Kaya is so important to the Conria stuff that it's hard to imagine that he's just gonna appear and then leave the main story. I think I think they're putting him, him in to be a mainstay for that storyline. And it's quite possible, I think, that D Luke will eventually join that main story too, because I think everything's looping back to Monster eventually, or that's what the theory is it's also possible i think all the original characters that were given for free like amber and lisa also play a major role in the story but i feel like it's going to be kaya leaves comes to port almost joins the traveler on the journey to investigate conria with dane's leaf and doesn't return to monster 
D Luke worried about Kaya <laughs> comes to find him and I predict that we're gonna have D Luke appear on lots of little events around Tabat looking for Kaya because he's vanished or possibly Lisa as well or Jean like Kaya's vanished out of the middle of nowhere that's what I, I really hope I really hope D Luke goes searching for Kaya and he's just in all of the events that's my hopes and dreams <laughs> because um, they need to reconcile their differences and I, I would love that for me personally other predictions for Daniel's leave story quest it's really difficult actually um predicting what will happen to the story um, because there is so much we don't know about Conria and Dainsleaf. When I was replaying it on my Bose Only account, I found Dainsleaf story so suspicious. Like we don't know how good Conria is and honestly we don't know what Conria did to get nuked by Celestia and cause the catalysm in the first place. Like, I was thinking about this because you're told about the story of King Deshrat and in the artifact about how King Deshrat wanted to rebel against Celestia and thus sought forbidden knowledge. And he brought forbidden knowledge back to the desert and corrupted all the people. He corrupted Ermin's soul. He, he did a lot of bad stuff, but you know what didn't happen as a consequence to King Deshret's rebellion? A nail did not fall. King Deshret was deliberately trying to fight Celestia and deliberately seeked out forbidden knowledge, but Simaru was not nailed for it. Which begs the question, what did Conria do that made a nail fall? Now, obviously, we don't know much about what causes the nails to fall to the earth from Celestia. We, we're not 100% sure why it fell on the mountains. We're not 100% sure why the one in the chasm fell on the chasm. And I don't think we're 100% sure why the one who fell in the desert fell into the desert. There's lots of speculation. I think from the mountain lore, it's especially ambiguous because if you have listened to any other theories about it, it sounds like the people of the mountains were very much in favour to Celestia until they weren't, and then Celestia destroyed them. So why were they destroyed? Why was the desert nuked? I can't remember what was in the desert for it to be nuked in the first place. And also, why was Conria nuked when King Deshret wasn't? Nothing bad happened to King Deshret as a consequence of his actions, of a consequence of the God Goddess of Flowers telling him the secrets, as a consequence of him researching forbidden knowledge. I mean, King Deshret corrupted Ermansoul and a nail did not fall upon him. You've got to ask what Conria did differently that led to this. And so I can't feel like Conria is in any way a good faction. And Dainsleaf, by association, also is a bit sus. I mean, it could be that they've created all this lore and didn't think too much about Oh, this guy did this thing that's really kind of bad if you think about it. Celestia probably should have done something. There has to be reasons why King Deshret didn't get nailed, but Conria did. You know? But, but as far as we know, there isn't. There isn't a reason. We, all we know from Conria is a, a, a very few, very few things. We know they didn't worship the gods, but... Honestly, like the way people act in in the vat, not everyone reveres the gods either. Not everyone's that bothered about Celestia. I don't hear anyone talking about Celestia. You talk about how Celestia rules to that, but people are living happy and full lives. So it begs the question, what is Celestia doing wrong that Conria and King Deshret had to rebel? Don't know. 
um, there's not enough information available, unfortunately. So that begs the question, what will the next Dane's Leaf quest be about? We see a big purple crystal that looks very familiar in setup. The upside down statue of the seven we see. And it's, it's like, have they succeeded in transforming this? But you know what it also sort of looks like? Just a little bit. It sort of looks a bit like the tips of the nails, don't you think? The crystals there. Now there isn't very much things that radiate purple energy into that. You've got the electro crystals obviously that are purple and anything associated with electro. But the colour of the gem in the trailer is obviously not the electro purple. It's a more kind of um, indigo-y purple, I guess, than the bright violet that we often associate electro with. Which I think is what the colour scheme they're going for for the abyss. But the fact that it's so close <laughs> to the electro colour scheme makes it really difficult to distinguish, especially seeing like the abyss heralds and the abyss mages and all that stuff don't really have really strong purple connotations with them so yeah it's a, it's a difficult one but my prediction for the quest is i think we're gonna meet up with kaya in simaru maybe kaya sends us a letter saying he's in simaru let's meet up we meet him at the calf we spot Dangeleaf in the background and like, hey, Dangeleaf, come meet our friend Kaya. And they, they see each other like, oh, you're from Conria <laughs> because of the eyes. And Dangeleaf says he's investigating stuff. Kaya gives a brief background into his, his history. Either we split paths with Kaya there at the calf and leave him to his own devices until we meet him again in the next Dane's Leaf quest or he does come with us I don't know if he does come with us they didn't show him in the trailer we've only seen him in a snippet maybe they're trying to hide how much he plays in the role he plays or making us speculate about the Cryo Abyss Herald but I really really do not think anything bad is going to happen to Kaya. I don't think this is going to be a Kaya angst fest. I think this is going to be a Dane's Leaf angst quest like, <laughs> like usual. We'll see. I might be wrong. Maybe Kaya will come along and suffer. But I do think, I do think Kaya is going to be with us for the future of Dane's Leaf's quest. Because it makes sense. That is his role in the story. His role in the story is to be tied to Dangeleaf's quest because of his backstory. And I think all the original Monsters cast of Jean, D. Luke, Amber, and Lisa will also play a role in it in the future. This is Kaya's time. And I don't think anything bad's going to happen to him. I want to reassure people because we all love Kaya. He's our best boy. I honestly think he's going to be just fine. <laughs> um, let me know what you think below. What's going to happen in, in the next um, Dane's Leaf quest. We'll come back here after, after it launches. I'll be playing it when it launches first day. I'm very excited. We'll come back and we'll discuss. But um, yeah, I hope I'm right. Because I don't want anything bad to happen to Kai. I'm... I'm so sure he'll be fine because Yao was just fine. They couldn't kill this boy. They won't kill this boy either. Or at least if they're planning to kill him, I don't think they're going to do it in this chapter. Just because there's no lead up. There's zero lead up. There's so many people who play Genshin who probably have no idea of Kaya's connection to Dane's Leaf at all. They need to at least have him play a role in this chapter and then maybe they'll kill him off in the next chapter. <laughs> or, or maybe Kaya gets kidnapped. Wouldn't that be great? Calling it now. Kaya gets kidnapped by the Abyss Order and we have to go save him. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I hope you all are too. I hope you've all caught up with your Archon quest so you can play it day one. Or if you haven't, uh, remember to turn off all spoilers before March 1st 
so that you can play it in your own time in peace without anyone spoiling it because I guarantee I guarantee Twitter is going to be full of spoilers TikTok is going to be full of spoilers everywhere is going to be full of spoilers so just don't go on social media until you've played it if you care about it um yeah that's all for me today i just wanted to talk about it because it's exciting i'm so excited we're excited here do do like like this video if you enjoyed it uh, i'll do more of these if people enjoy it uh with future plot speculations i have so much speculation in me um do subscribe if you're not already it really helps me out and leave a comment let me know what you're you think's gonna happen in dangerous quest do you think Kaya will die. Do you think Kaya will turn into a cryo abyss lectern herald thing? Do you think Kaya will turn up for a 30 minute cameo and just vanish so all the people who don't pay attention to law know he's important to law and the plot? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!